Hello and welcome to Jo Beth Sexton's Polychrome Path. We're going to get crafty today. So what I've got is I'm going to teach you how to put together a little complimentary gift box out of a 12 by 12 sheet of scrapbooking paper. It's really not that difficult. Um, this is just one way to do it. It's my way to do it. Um, and I did use instructions offline. Off of on, an online source. However, when I started using those um, instructions, I realized that uh, it became really difficult to put together. Let's just say they were lacking. So um, I'm going to do this my way and I'm going to teach you my way. So hopefully you won't have as much trouble as I did. Okay, so you will need a 12 by 12 piece of paper and you can make one of these. You can get one out and make one out of a brown paper grocery bag, a piece of craft paper, wrapping paper, something, a stiffer paper, not cardstock. Although cardstock would work, it's difficult to find it in 12 by 12. Um, I just have a piece of scrapbooking paper from Michaels. So you have that. Um, this is a little piece. It says, dark and peaceful night, as old as the universe. I love you most in all the galaxy, more gorgeous than the stars and things like that. So it's kind of cool. Anyway, so there's that. Uh, you'll need a pencil for scoring, and um, I'm going to use this. This is um, bookbinding glue, and you can see it's pH neutral. It's got lay flat properties, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, you can also use Elmer's glue. Uh, Two-sided tape, double-sided tape is good too if you don't want to get into the glue thing. So let's get started. So what we're going what we're going to do is we're going to mark this at 3 inches from the edge and 9 inches. And then I want you to go over and do another 3 inch and 9 inch and the reason why is because it's easier to line up. So when you're scoring or folding, you're going to line those two up on the ruler like this and just fold it over keeping in mind that if you have really heavy paper it's going to be a little bit harder to fold but anywhere near three inches is good and then once you have a slightly scored you can fold it over and there we go see how that works really nice there we go and then the nine inch one the nine inch mark Flip your paper around a little bit so you can reach it. But line that up along your straight edge, ruler or whatever you have. Fold, score, and then increase your crease. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to take your ruler. You're going to turn your paper. You started this way. Okay. You're going to turn your paper one quarter. You're going to mark out your ruler one inch three and a half inches six and a half inches and nine inches and if you don't start focusing I'm gonna have to stop again come on focus 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 okay so then we're gonna go across the page and we're gonna do that again so there's a, a ref, another reference line one three and a half, six and a half, and nine and a half. And then of course what you're going to do is you're going to fold that again. Line those two up along the straight edge. And I love the metal rulers because the edge is really, really sharp. And um, it's, it's just very precise and I like it when I'm doing stuff like this. I like it to be really precise. So because it's easier to keep track of what you're doing. So three and a half. All right. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't mean to bump the camera or the tripod. There. Six and a half. And line that up and fold. And Line that up and quick fold. Okay, get rid of that. Fold. There we go. 
I'll take that all apart. Now what you want to do is grab your scissors. See all those nice little creases? Look at that. You can see everything really well. And if you have trouble seeing it, you need to either move your light source, move your paper, tip, tip your paper up the other way, something like that. So you can see them really well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it, this corner out right here. Just like that. That's trash. Take this corner out. And you're, you're, it doesn't need to be exact. You know, you can make it work if it's not exact. And this isn't going to be exact because it's a demo. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to cut along this line up to... Well, it's supposed to be right on that line. Here. And then up to here. Then we're going to turn that paper around. Cut along that line up to there. And along this line up to there. So basically what you've got is you've got these two flaps, these two flaps. Okay. So we're going to fold these in. Now, a lot of people will tell you that you need to cut this part off too. I leave that on. And the reason why is because it reinforces the back of the box. So if you've got something a little bit heavier, it'll help reinforce that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pH neutral glue. And I'm just going to make sure that I get it up around the corners, especially because you don't want those flapping around. It just looks messy. Okay, like that. Okay. And you'll have to hold it for a couple seconds. Just hold it, hold it, hold it. Until it kind of seals in. Then you're going to want to glue this. And of course, you want to get the um, glue up near the top and in the corner there we go just kind of wing it make it look pretty now hold on to that and I want you to at this point fold this backward so you've got you can see the top just like that okay then we want to do these and I recommend putting the glue on this inside part because then you've got you can see where it's been where it's gonna go right there right here and I can see the light fluctuating on my video I apologize I don't know what the deal is it's just I guess auto focus features so and this apparently I trimmed it too far but hey you know what that's okay like I said, it's a demo. So you can do this. Just kind of wipe that off. But you get the point. Usually when you do that, it's it's going to come all the way up to the top. So you've got this little box, right? Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to use these paper clips. I have these giant paper clips because they just hold on better. Like that. And we're going to do one up here right near that corner so there's a corner where I glued it is right there okay then over on the other side and you don't have to worry about getting glue on the paper clip because it's just gonna come right off I mean it's metal okay so then you're gonna just leave it like that until it's dry and basically that's all you have to do to make the box you got a flap flap can get tuck in or not so what I want to do again is show you too what else you can use to embellish these cute little boxes. So what I have here is I have this one and I went with a the Halloween theme, glued a little rubber rat to it. So you've got your box right here. Now this flap can go outside and you can seal it down with a piece of washi tape. I'm not going to do that on this one at this point. Or you can tuck that flap in like that. Another thing that you can do, and this is really cool, I like this part. I'm just going to leave that right like that. 
is you can grab some ribbon and you kind of want to measure the ribbon out a little bit. So you, you're going to have it like this, extending down a little bit, and then that's halfway. Then you take it and you just measure down about halfway more. Take your scissors and you want to cut it at an angle because that helps keep it from fraying so very much. And this is a really cute little Halloween ribbon. I don't know if you can see that. It says, boo, with a little ghosty. Okay, now let me take that out of there. And what I do is um, I just put it on the inside like this. See, it's hanging on on the inside. It takes a stapler, my handy dandy stapler. And you want to staple it so that the sharper points are going to be to the inside. And it doesn't have to be straight. I glue my finger so it's kind of sticking. And we're going to staple as soon as I can get that in there. On the staple there. Outside. And then we're going to put it on the inside. Staple it again. Oh, wrong way. You want those sharp ends to go inside because outside is just, it's just too asking for trouble. So, like that. Now, what you've done is you've got this cute little box, Halloween box, little rat on top, and a handle. So you come in and you're like, hey, I got, a, I got something for you. Look at that. Hey, Halloween candy. You can put tissue paper inside. A little tissue paper inside of there. Dump a bunch of candy in there. There you go. You got something for your niece, or your daughter, or, or grandma, or just anybody. You celebrate. Another thing that you can do, and this is really cool. I discovered this. Um, a lot of people are familiar with, you know, having your nails done and stuff like that. And I don't have my nails done. I um, my fingernails are weird. They don't hold false nails very well. But what I thought of was using, these are the little um, adhesive stripes that you can get on your nails. See how shiny and pretty that is? That's like a dark magenta tape. But they adhere to these boxes really, really well. Look at that. So you can write on them. This one says, hello. And then I put a little stripe on it. But when you get these little, and I got this on Amazon, and I can leave a link for you. Um, and you can use these little guys. And instead of putting your nail glue on, you're going to put your book binding glue on or your Elmer's or whatever. And you're going to, you can put little dots of these little jewels on your boxes. How cool is that? And this whole set only costs like, I don't know, $10, something like that. So that's a little cool little embellishment tool that you can use on those. And that's just really thin paper. And again, you can just like take your washi tape, Put that on there, flap on the outside, and hey, it even matches somewhat. There you go. See? There you go. Washi tape. And then when somebody comes to open it, it's not difficult to open because it's washi tape. Okay. Another thing that you could do to embellish is I used some gel pen, glitter gel pens on this one, and some um, sequins. I just glued that on there. So you've got a little box with uh, sequins on it. This one is made out of heavier paper. It's all gold and shiny, great for Christmas or Halloween. It's brown and gold. And then a wired ribbon. A wired ribbon is great if you want to make shapes out of it, but it also works really well as a handle for these boxes. And I, I cut it too long, so I just put a little knot in it. And... Uh, I didn't tie it real tight. You can always untie it, you know, and hang it on somebody's doorknob and surprise them when they get home. You've got a little box to do that. 
There you are. So I hope you like this. Um, I enjoy making these little crafty things. This won't be my last tutorial crafty video because I love doing stuff like this as well as coloring and uh, painting. I always tell people that if I'm not creating something, I'm just not doing, doing it right. <laughs> anyway, so there you have it. Um, give it a try, you know? See what happens. And you can find a tutorial. You could probably find 50 tutorials that teach you how to make the same box on YouTube. However, I don't know if anybody's thought of the, like, gluing on the little rat or, or the nail art embellishments. I don't know. I haven't seen that. Keep it in mind, you can also use the nail art embellishments in your coloring books. So keep that in mind too, because I mean, I see people using gel pens for sparkle all the time, but these little guys, oh my God, they're like little diamonds. They're little acrylic sparklies. And you can just take your little nail art tool, you know, and glue these in your book. I mean. Why not? Right? Okay, well, I'm going to sign off now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. It would really help me out a lot. Ring the bell to get notifications when I come out with a new video. And remember, it's not about the journey. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. I knew I was going to get that wrong someday. Anyway, peace, love, and polycone dreams.